Hi, it's Tony again. This is gonna be a quick tutorial, guys. I'm gonna show you real fast how to remove an Invisitab hair extension and retape it. If these extensions have been in the hair for like six to eight weeks, you would see a lot of hair on them and built up conditioner and whatnot. So we're gonna use the Invisitab remover and we're gonna spray it on the bond and let it remain for one to five minutes. I spray it on and take it right off. That's just me though, because it works really great. Rub it in with your fingers. So Invisitab has the packs that you can get for the pre-cut tape-ins and then they also carry the roll. I prefer the pre-cut tape-ins. You just peel down your fingers and it comes right off. Like that. I like that. So then what you want to do, like I said, if these have been in the head for a while, you want to take some alcohol, lay them out, and you're going to clean them off and then retape them. Fill your tape off. and stick it back on there, and you're good to go. This tape is really, really good. It's a keratin bond. They don't slide, they don't slip, they don't move around. I've even applied, not fashion color over top of the bonds, but a, t a root touch up. Um, any color that doesn't have alcohol in it, you can apply over top of the bonds. If you're working with fashion color, most fashion color lines are full of alcohol and you don't wanna do that your extensions will fall in the sink. It's happened to me before. Invisitab comes in 18 to 20 inch Remy and European virgin hair, I believe in only 18 inch. That's it, she's done. See, told you, quick tutorial. So in our next tutorial, I'm going to be doing a beautiful fashion color. I'm gonna take Emma off stage and bring her back and show you. Bye.